Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will learn things about nouns which you might not know. You might know the definition of noun because usually they say noun is the name of a thing, place or a person. But do you know that noun can be an emotion or an idea? Let's learn everything about nouns in this lesson. So let's start. Let's start with the types of noun you might already know, such as dog, city and book. Let's see the sentences and figure out if we can see some other nouns as well, such as, I saw a dog running in the park this morning. New York is a vibrant and bustling city. She loves to read a good book before bedtime. You might notice some other nouns as well, such as New York and Park. But let's focus on these three nouns for now. Dog, which is an animal, city, a place, and book, which is a thing. What is common in these three nouns? Dog, city, and book. They are referring to general and non-specific entities. We are not telling which city or which book or which dog. We are simply referring to something general, dog, city and book. These types of nouns are called common nouns. Now let's look at three more examples. Fatima is planning to travel abroad next month. Have you ever visited Paris during the spring? I prefer water over other soft drinks. So now, Fatima, Paris and water. These are the nouns, but what is common among them? Fatima is a name of girl. Paris is a name of a city. If we say Paris, we know that which city we are talking about. Water is also a name of a specific drink. So. If you name specific people, places or things, these are called proper nouns. And remember in writing, when you write proper noun, the first letter is always a capital letter. Let's see other four sentences. Notice the nouns in these sentences and see what is common among them. I picked a ripe, juicy apple from the tree. She drove a shiny red car to work every day. The old wooden table creaked as I sat down. A colorful rainbow appeared after the rain. Here are four nouns. Apple, car, table and rainbow. What's common among these nouns? So what is common among table, apple, car and rainbow? These are all physical objects. You can see them or taste them or touch them. So any object you can touch, see, hear, smell or taste are called concrete nouns. Let's look at the nouns which are not physical objects. Their love for each other grew stronger with each passing day. The noun here is love. Finding joy in simple moments bring immense happiness. Happiness is the noun. It takes a lot of courage to face your fears and chase your dreams. Courage is the noun. The feeling of freedom as she explored the open fields were exhilarating. Freedom is the noun. A small act of kindness can brighten someone's entire day. Kindness is also a noun. So what's common between love, happiness, courage, freedom and kindness? We cannot touch them and we cannot see them. So these are the abstract nouns. Abstract nouns represent concepts, emotions, qualities or ideas that cannot be touched or seen such as love, courage, and happiness. Let's look at these sentences. The team celebrated their victory with cheers and high fives. 
a herd of elephants moved gracefully across the savanna. The family gathered around the dinner table for a delicious meal. A flock of birds flew overhead, creating mesmerizing patterns in the sky. The jury deliberated for hours before reaching unanimous decision. So team, herd, family, flock, and jury. These are the nouns. What's common between them? All these nouns represent groups or collection of individuals, such as in a team, there are more than one people. In a flock, there are a lot of birds. And in family, there are more than one person. These are called collective nouns. Let's look at other nouns in sentences. I have three books on my shelf. There are six chairs around the table. They own two cars, one for each of them. She adopted five cats from the shelter. He bought a pack of ten pens for school. Notice what is common among these nouns. We can count all these nouns, such as three books, five pens. And these types which can be counted are called countable or count nouns. Can you count these nouns? She drank a glass of water. He added a spoonful of sugar to his coffee. The beach was covered in soft golden sand. The concert was filled with beautiful music. Her smile radiated pure happiness. Can you count water, sugar, sand, music and happiness in numbers? These nouns cannot be counted. So they are called uncountable or non-count nouns. These were all types of nouns in English language. Thank you for watching. It's important to understand the nouns because these are the most used words in English language. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section and I will try to answer. See you again with another lesson. Until then, bye.